What up? I didn't even do the I didn't even do the song this time. I was just gonna go straight to business, but you know what I'm saying? Just just for shits and giggles. Seven and nine West Coast, ten to twelve on the East, girl, you better tune into it. And boy, I try to tell you this the new big movement. Sit down and catch a vibe, cause he folk foolish foolish. That's what you can bank on to the bank on. Plus the more mob and the rewatch gang strong. You were not tuned in the human with the zombies. I meant zooming with the homies on, oh, man. Hey Tom. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to another episode of Zoom with the Homies, man. We up, we up. Happy uh, Sunday to everybody, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that's tapped in already. I know this was hella impromptu. I woke up to the text message like, yo, it's my birthday. We doing Zoom? And I'm like, yeah, nigga, for you, of course. So uh, that's why we hit, you know what I'm saying? I was I was, I was, was napping. I was, I was still tucked in, snuggled under the covers. But the homie hit me up, and it's his birthday, and I love him. And he's funny, and y'all love him. He has been a crowd favorite since the first time he came on the show. So I was like, we got to do this. It only makes sense. So, ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, I want y'all to uh, welcome back to the show. You know what I'm saying? The hilarious, the birthday boy, the father figure, the husband, the le- the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Ronnie Jordan. Bam, 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 bam. What up, player? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey man, God is good, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Y'all can got them. Y'all can tap that cash out. I really just needed some backwoods. I was just saying, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck? Just know something on something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna hold y'all up. Don't even yeah. flatter me with your words. Do it with the cash. Don't flatter me with your words. Send <laughs> push and backwoods supplies or you are the executive producers of my smoke session now, y'all. It's in your hands. I'm good. The weed. You see this leather? I can't get no regular weed. You see that? You know, I look like a BMF couch. You see this shit? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, you know what that's, what that's hey, shout out to Houston Leathers, man. He made it for big niggas to feel R and B. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes right. you got to do that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here, my boy. Happy birthday to you. I'm gonna get our other homie on here right now. Shout out to all the niggas who graduated with me who hell I fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? That what I that what I really came to show y'all niggas how to do this tax for real, for real. At my age, you know what I'm saying? That's my that's my abs, you still my hair. You still my got hair it. is my abs. My, I, I, I just got the fresh gist from me and died and everything. Hair What's up? It's my abs is hilarious, nigga. My hair is my abs. <laughs> Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, man, we got another hilarious comedian. Um, he's a writer, uh, LA native, you know what I'm saying, by way of uh, ATL now. He's actually on the road right now with Ronnie and Desi Banks, man. They in Naptown, so if you're in Naptown, they got one more show tonight. You definitely need to pull up to that. But, ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, also the co host of More Than Culture, put your hands together. For Mr. Tyler Chronicles. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Y'all just gonna show your hairlines before you pull me on here? That's crazy. That's crazy word. I didn't know that I was getting ambushed. Well, listen, listen, here's the thing. He said the hairlines is like abs. You actually got abs. So, you know what I mean? Like, you still yeah, wearing here? This nigga be looking like Roman Reigns on his vacation pictures. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> Not right now. Nope. I'd rather, I'd rather, rather have, have hair. Fuck you talking about. You can, you can tie your shoes on the first try. Shut up. Shut his mouth. Hold Shut his breath for nothing. That nigga don't Oh, you tie them on before you put them on and slip them holes in. Shout out to them big niggas. I ain't that big yet. I can do that as well. Hey, man. <laughs> we got a couple more people coming in. I'm just waiting for them to tap in. But shit, man. Y'all boys up in Naptown. How's uh, was y'all were there uh, since Friday? Yep. How were the first uh, first two nights? Man, the first two nights was, was well, all all the shows are sold out. This is going crazy, man. Um, and these we got these boys. Hey, these, these young boys, man, they be out partying after the show and shit, man. I don't know, bro. This shit is. <laughs> I can't do it. Yo, well, I, I'm in the club looking like security. My feet hurt so bad. I'm looking mean with chicks. Like, what's wrong with you? Is you security? 
Like, bitch, I'm not security. I'm insecure. I don't think my knees going to be able to last the rest of this club night. I'm not security. I'm, not security. I'm insecurity. <laughs> Hey, it hit different when you hit a certain age trying to stay up and stay out all night. That's just hit different, bro. Hey, they know I'm coming to the club looking for it, especially after working, especially after work. Two shows, too. Two shows, we ready to go. Pile up in the van and go uh, see a twerk car to us with studs. It was amazing. We saw- <laughs> 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 said, nigga, that's what I needed to see. Stud twerking. Baby midnight. It was awesome. <laughs> I forgot about that. Damn, my knee was hurting so bad. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> hey, I'm the only nigga in the club with an ice and hot patch on your knee. I, mean, I got ice and hot patches all over my body at the club, nigga. <laughs> this nigga made a stud take her shirt off and start twerking. She had to take off her nice shirt because she had an undershirt on underneath. She ain't gonna mess up her nice shirt before she twerk. She <laughs> Just like a real shirt up first. <laughs> Let me take these J's off right quick before I crease them. She didn't want to crease her J's when she was twerking, so she threw them bitches off. <laughs> yeah, hold my yeah, wallet, she dog. The she said, I want to crease these cops. Oh, the shit. Hey, bitch, dog, hold my phone in my wallet. <laughs> hey, did y'all celebrate uh full four day down there in Atlanta? I did it in the house. I did it in through my spirit. I was that's how old I am. I was like Atlanta. I was at home. <laughs> Is it big down there in the city? Yes, it's like a whole thing now. It's getting bigger and bigger. The more people come, the people that ain't from Atlanta support the do four four day harder than ever. But the niggas who really was there, I saw like the rich kids perform. Like that was very nostalgic. It was like those the niggas who was outside of those six had a time this year. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, um, it's like that. I gotta Louis come back. I can't. Florida. I can't hear. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah. Three one four day like that in St. Louis. They go crazy in three one four day. Yeah, especially with the free they die. Atlanta got a lot of momentum right now. You know, future the goddamn future metro to the, the, the put the smoke signal in the air. They done made a slapper. <laughs> yeah. They say they drop another one next Friday. They drop a part two next Friday. They said last Friday. They said we gonna drop it back to back to back. I'm like, nigga, where the other one at? Let's do it. They said, yeah, I, I saw the day for next Friday. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm with it. I'm they, with they come it. come out with that goddamn friendly push, that goddamn gospel hug. That nigga <laughs> did a church hug. <laughs> you talking about on the response? <laughs> yes, they're so nice. They're so nice to each other, dog. <laughs> Bro, but he I said did, it was a I warning shot. Yeah. Go ahead, Tyler. And I think it was a, it's an unfair advantage, too, because when people are expecting you to do a diss record, you got to go harder than the nigga that dropped the one that was surprising. I think the, yeah. the surprise of Kendrick would made it more more hard than anything. Because, like, if you just put the bar for bar, it's like, uh, it's okay. It's not big three. It's yeah. big me. That nigga, that was, that was an autistic bar. It's just big me. Come on. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, but every bartender got those sparkle. They're like, it's just big me. That's- <laughs> the bar, the bar the not, line. That's not. That's not a good bar, bro. That's it is a good bar for your life. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah. Anything get the girl going like this? <laughs> you won. You, you won the battle. If you can get the girls to repeat it or put it in their caption, you know how many yeah. bitches put. Yeah, because Kendrick loves right. Because Kendrick loves rapping for women. <laughs> I'm just saying that we, that's what got it. That's how you win right now. <laughs> yeah. Anything you can play in the sexy red set, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah. St. Louis got it right now to here. What's up, bro? The niggas love sexy red more than the girls. Hey man, sexy red out here killing right now, bro. I ain't gonna even hold you. They she she winning, bro. She going crazy, bro. She, she is. going crazy. I don't think I ever seen somebody start their career off, I don't think I've ever seen somebody start their career off like that and it ended up being that successful like people was making fun of her with that uh booty hole brown shit the first coat go around but Bro, real too niggas, niggas thought it was a joke niggas they thought it was kinda, a like a like a parody song or something yeah 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 because she was like in a in a beauty supply store and doing that shit niggas like oh this okay this is funny <laughs> it's like everybody beef that, that everybody got a beef like that <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, said, when Glorilla came out with the um at the headlight twerking on the uh I mean, at the red light twerking on the headlight, yeah, niggas was making niggas fun of that. that. Was, 
<laughs> yeah. She did the whole damn near the whole video with that that Nissan Altima. Niggas didn't think it was for real, for real. It, it just proves the lifelong theory. Holes are fun. <laughs> Hey bro, hold on. Hey, my screen, my screen a little dirty, but to here, do you have a bull ring in your nose? <laughs> I can't see. You got the I, have ring, my, I do have my stuff and pierce. Oh. I do have my stuff it's and pierce. pierce for real. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, it's pierce for real. Oh, I thought it was just a clip on like Kev hey. had. Nah, nah, nah. This is a real thing right here. He just it's, twisted it. That nigga look like a Chicago Bulls mascot, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In bull mode. <laughs> That's freaky nigga mode. That nigga look like a, now, look like a tacky Chicago Bull. <laughs> hey, hey, Ronnie, you would get it, nigga, but they'd have to use a hula hoop on your nose, nigga. I would really, I would <laughs> like one of the fly monkeys on the wings, nigga. The... <laughs> What's happening, Dorothy? <laughs> that money look like Rick Ross and Jazz and Fay on motorcycle. To <laughs> hear a real freaky nigga, man. I ain't you know, bro. Just like you know, a nigga get his booty ate because he got a sexy ring. He got a sexy paint ring in there. That, that boy on the dark side. Tell me you get That's your ass ate without telling me you get your ass ate. Put the ring right here. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga be in the room till I get it started, see? <laughs> Girl, you know this ass hey. super fat. I ain't lying, dog. No. That's the hit. It is white. <laughs> you niggas sound. You niggas sound yeah. real jealous right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said I did the fuck like it. Ronnie, Ronnie, you, you had to, whoever eat Ronnie ass got to do it with a hard hat on. That means you got to have on. <laughs> <laughs> You eat my ass, you ain't gonna hear the music no more, bitch. You know. He <laughs> 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 like, twerking with a Glock in his hand, so my, I ain't lying, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely twerks with his gun out. They can clean his gun and just set your head. Hey, twerking with your gun out is nasty work, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, you got a pack of new points at the Glock on the black right now. I ain't lying, dog. What, wasn't that nigga in the, in the Young Thug video doing that shit before he went to jail? The one little nigga had the well, gun like this. Somebody was. <laughs> he didn't want to be. Yeah. He had the pistol. That nigga was dancing like he this. Like they were like, yeah, he did that. Everybody was posting that video like, yeah, he definitely told. <laughs> they were like, he definitely told. We found him, guys. I think we found him. That nigga shoot you zigzag. definitely told. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got lowercase bullets. <laughs> you get shot by a nigga that's pigeon toe, you had that coming. You don't know which way that bullet gonna go. <laughs> Before shot him, he said, girl, girl, put me on live. Put me on live, bitch, so I can fire these hoes up. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? That nigga said, y'all niggas sound jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be on the new real sex, boy, I promise you. Hey, man. It's all good, man. You I'm got your ears pierced? Huh? You got your ears pierced? I mean, they are. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't had an ear again since, since college. I you got that shit so fair to hook the leash to it. Fair and hook the leash to that motherfucker. Drag your ass. Come on, nigga. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But come on, you little Frenchie. Nigga, see, it turned to a Frenchie for two hours every Monday. <laughs> that nigga got so he, that nigga, That's how you keep the love alive. And then Kid Parker is breathing to, to his over there. And then Kid Park has a two to hear Frenchy. <laughs> they barking the nigga. He said, come here. Sit. <laughs> Did that shit hurt? Did that shit hurt though? It I so it, it hurts when they first do it because they do it with a needle, like like with a real needle. But uh the, the healing time for my daughter was pretty quick, but for me, because I use my CPAP and it presses against this part of my nose. Uh, she ring and a CPAP is hilarious. Nigga. <laughs> you the coolest nigga at dialysis, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Damn. Hey, you know that ring make you instantly cooler than everybody else in the room. They're like, what's up? What's up with him? <laughs> it is a conversation. Yeah, sure. I didn't even like, notice yeah. it at first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I made a pause. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, interesting. About a month and a half, man. I, oh, I thought you were just playing. Yeah, I was like, okay. To hear nah, is evolving. Nah, I just, you know what? It's it's a lot of shit I've been wanting to do, but I didn't do because of acting and shit like that. But now I'm getting at the A. It's like, well, nigga, this might be what it's going to be. And if it ain't, then I can just take the shit out or flip it up. So I'm not like. You know, limiting myself or inhibiting myself from doing what I want to do now. I'm just gonna like, nigga, we'll work around it. Oh, you went did it? Shit, it might get you a role in Euphoria. <laughs> you look like you saw rules and shit, some good shit. What? Where's Red at? Red here? Is Red <laughs> here? The whole episode trying to find this nigga. <laughs> hey man, I'll take it. Tell, oh, I you went you. Dennis Robin, huh? You evolved into Dennis Robin, nigga. The worm. <laughs> hey, that nigga Dennis okay. Robin got the Major roast. just lost that role. You might, you might get that. Dang, Dr. Major just lost it. <laughs> hey, I'll be Kang. Light-skinned Kang, nigga. Light-skinned Kang seems scarier to me because he got like he got a little chip on his shoulder because they were fucking with him as a child. <laughs> Light-skinned Kang work at night because he gets sunburned. He... <laughs> <laughs> Son, I can tell Kang ass up. That's it. Nigga. I still ain't seen BMF, bro. Him. Am I missing out for real? Am I missing out on BMF? Oh, you... yeah. I ain't never seen it. Did you like Power? Uh, it was cool. Gigi, I sent you the link. Bring your ass in here. She talking about happy. You ain't seen BMF, bro. Uh, I said I sent it a link, but um, I, I, Power was cool. I stopped watching it because I felt like Power's in BMF, nigga. He he in the uh, he in the stud game. Who is Power is in BMF this season? Wait, are you no for real? Y'all dead real? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought That's you said he's, I thought you said he's the stud leader. No, he's in her game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's why I was like, nigga, you play too much. <laughs> the, the villain is the villain this season is a is a stud. Okay, they got diabolical yeah. stud on there. You got to watch it. It's hilarious. It is the best. She crazy. Best shit. It's like nigga. It's like Shakespearean almost. Got it's like this shit is great. <laughs> and the fence. I be crazy. looking for the fence anyway. The fence is my best, my favorite shit on there. Oh, the fence. We talking about Jim Chains dying on the. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The fits on there be, you know, it's based in the 90s, so the shit's on there be crazy. Okay. okay. Niggas don't talk about Lil Beach having them vintage Dior sweatsuits on and shit like that. That niggas ain't seeing. That nigga be having vintage Givenchy. That nigga, they got Terry, I corrected it. He got my eye and shit. <laughs> 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 All right, Gigi. I just resent the link, Gigi. I look like Terry yeah, now. It's worth the watch. If you like uh, if you like, uh, you like, like gangster shit, drug yeah. shit, it's worth the watch. Yeah, I want to see I, what Terry looks like right and now. Plus I'm, I, and plus, I'm on it, so yeah, you know I mean, I mean, you know, so I would watch it just because of that. <laughs> had I known, I, I, know, I, I, I would have. I mean, if, if you knew, if you knew, had I known, I would have been still watching. I ain't gonna hold you. I hate you gotta watch when they like three season in already. I feel like I gotta rush to catch up and shit. It's but, fuck it, but this, it. but this show, this show doesn't. It's not super linear, so mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I think you can start wherever you want to. I got to start. Yeah, yeah. The, the main, the main character hadn't really, the main character hadn't really evolved too much. He just went from poor to rich, but he's still the same nigga. No, nah, I got, I got, I got to start at the beginning. I got to see your first scene and see how you walk on the set. I want to see <laughs> how they got my nigga walking in. Awesome well, you gotta you gotta start with this. You gotta start with this season, though. I ain't in the first two seasons. I know. I just want to catch up. I want. I want to see it all, man. I ain't gonna rush it. You know yeah. what I mean? I got a little. I got a little time, baby. Check, check it out. I'm, hey, I'm and also y'all, y'all, y'all start seeing about they uh talking about the demon face, uh uh, what you call it syndrome. <laughs> The what? They said some people, some people are gonna start. Some people are gonna start having visions that people's faces are turning into demons, and it's not gonna be real. 
they said some people doing it already but people are saying like nah that's because the eclipse is coming and people like if you be around low vibrational people you'll see the demon in them when the eclipse hit that's what they say now so make sure you're around some people that you like when the eclipse happens tomorrow hey so man I'm, I'm gonna be at the crib i'm gonna be at the crib while this shit happening <laughs> i think i think it's i think it's happening around 10 out here i ain't leaving the house to about 12 yeah. so I got so, so he already right looked like a he look, so he looked like a big blue devil right now anyway. So he looks scary in the goddamn way. So he, just, <laughs> he just got a mascot face. He just that's what he looked like. It's not he's not a deep great guy. <laughs> I thought a birthday rose went the other. I thought a birthday rose went the other. <laughs> right, you know, Roddy came. <laughs> he tried to get him out before somebody get him. That nigga over there dressed like a, a fashionable double wide. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen no no mobile home draped in leather before. This nigga, is like, oh, but, oh, but the sides pop out though, my nigga. Wait, wait, wait till I let the sides out. I took this hoodie off of Elon Musk Ferrari. It was it was laying on his Ferrari. I said that leather got that motherfucker. Nah, it was laying on two Ferraris, nigga. Don't 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 lie to me. <laughs> back, we gonna back. tell the story. Tell the whole story, nigga. Don't lie. <laughs> Hey, that motherfucker hey. fly though. I ain't gonna hold it though. Ronnie, Ronnie be fly. I, I, I hey, love the it. Fat Ronnie class be with, with you. This how when you watch Golden Corral, you when you reach the final level of Golden Corral, they gotta be standing at the gate like, now nah, you ready for the real chicken? Nigga <laughs> 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 got on guys <laughs> driving gloves. <laughs> hey, this how the whole bitch is supposed to be looking like this big motherfucker. <laughs> Some of y'all pussy look like this. You ain't seen none. <laughs> at all, nigga. At all. <laughs> nigga been married for 90 years. I've been married since seventh grade. That's what's up, man. Did the big head though. Shit. Change her hey, man. Email or something. Gigi must be on a, 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 a trio. The Sprint trio. Yeah. Palm pilot, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, my yeah, palm yeah. pilot. I think I got the right one now. Let's try it again. Did y'all have a palm pilot? Did y'all have the palm pilot joint? I did. I had, had the trio. Uh, I had a palm pilot. I had a three way. Which one? The two way? The, the mother way. joint? The three way had the earpiece too. So it had the little wire. I had that too. Uh, That's the one I had. I had, the one I had in that video when he had been, when he started dancing with Chili in the dance floor. He had a, the, the, the long string, the wire. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, what earplugs you using, nigga? Cause you sound like a, a, a pilot on Spirit. Yeah, I got these bitches from Five Below. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they got some a bad bitch Bluetooth. That nigga got the Timu Timu specials right now, nigga. Yeah, yeah, these motherfuckers sound like. <laughs> Somebody, I ain't have the one. Is it still terrible? Nah, it's bad. I think it, it was muffled with the hood too. The sound well, I had the other one inside the case, so uh, so I could, you know, said the other one probably was still recording. Goddamn! Hey, here we go, oh, GG yeah. right here, y'all. I bring out, ladies and gentlemen, the hilarious, the stylish, the church mother herself, the deaconess of dimes, Miss Gigi Lafleur. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Gigi, what is that wig you got on right now? Check this out. Check this out. I was cleaning out my closet today, and I said, I gotta try pieces on and see if it give me a feeling, like if it give me a character. And this right here gave me a real Reba McIntyre goes to freak me vibe. So I was like, goes to freak me. If Reba McIntyre went to freak me. That's what this gives. This gives Peggy Bundy be hanging out with Pam in there. Oh shit! It's giving. It's giving Kenny Powers. That's that Eastbound and Down with. Not Kenny. It's giving Eastbound and Down with. Eastbound and Down. It's giving, uh, it's, it's giving Shawn Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> You got a WrestleMania wig. That's the Elizabeth wig. Remember Macho Man wife, Elizabeth nigga? Oh, to hit him with the arm right in. Oh, to hit him right switch. That's my move. That's, I do the switch hat move in the middle of the show, nigga. That's my shit. Hey, I ain't so like, like the way that motherfucker was putting. When I put this wig on, I just feel like I got to do this with it. Because you, you ain't not going to talk to me like that. 
That's what it's doing. <laughs> you better watch it. Let me tell you. Hey, that's the original Karen, boy. That's the Karen wig, boy. Hey, hey, listen. Let me tell you something. My daddy's the sheriff, and you better watch your tongue with me, young man, because it tell you something. You'll never work in this town again. <laughs> Let's hear your ass from right now. Hey, hey Gigi, what hey, was she doing? Always somebody... got a love. <laughs> a Gigi, love to what was she doing? Somebody sold her some bed and she wanted that loud. What? How, how was she uh, complaining? Hi, hi, Darnell. Hi, it's me, Linda. Listen, <laughs> I know I had just left off and over there, uh, right here directly about 30, 45 minutes ago, and I had told you that I had wanted some of that. I think I think y'all calling it Zaw or whatever. I had told you that I had wanted some of that. And when I had got back around the hill or whatever, we were busting it down, and it had babies all in it. It was seeds everywhere in it. I had no then. That this ain't what I think you might have had maybe gave me the wrong bag. So if you can give me a call right back right here directly, I'll be I'm sitting out in front of your <laughs> Altima. Call me back. <laughs> front of your, I'm it's sitting in front right of your Altima. Friend. We real time. No, you're not, hey, she, Linda. You are a cluster. Linda pull <laughs> hey, Linda pull back. Linda pull back up on his ass. Well, I'm outside your Altima. Linda's outside in the S10. Right. <laughs> you said right in front of your Altima. I'm, uh, I'm out there parked. I'm in a navy blue Ford Ranger. I'm in a navy blue Ford Ranger. I got my I got my boyfriend Bobby with me. Bobby, Bobby's out there. Oh. Bobby's gonna come up there and get it. He's gonna come up to your door and get it. B is it still B7? I just came from there. You can hear you can hear Bobby in the background make a little slick comment. I told you to stop fooling with him. <laughs> Bobby did tell her to stop messing around with them colors. <laughs> told you to let him go. Hey, Darnell. Yeah, he heard. He heard you, Bobby. Hey, Darnell. Hey, Darnell. Darnell. Hey, Darnell is hilarious, nigga. Oh, shit, Darnell, Darnell Buddy, happy is birthday, my boy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. That's a blessing. Tony, how are you today, sir? And and to Hill, how you doing, honey? I didn't speak to y'all. I just it's all good, up. Gigi. We was excited to see you. I'm 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 excited. Uh, I'm I'm mad that I'm not with them niggas. They just told me they finna take Ronnie on a uh, a buffet tour. She, they hit the Golden Corral. Not <laughs> <laughs> real. Sound, sound like American <laughs> buffet. Like I was like, yeah, y'all niggas. niggas finna be throwing them back today. I'm tell you something. I'm going to Quincy's. Mm. That go go to cry and do the Omarion dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then when that nigga throw that coat back, that's it for me. And <laughs> hit it with that leg. Hey, hey, like, hey, that boy, he drop some bread. Hey, put some bread down. <laughs> Keep dropping bread. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't fill up on the bread. That's how they see. This is my grandpa. Big boy here. Keep that bread, that bread in that draw. Keep that bread full in that draw here. My papa said that's how they get you. They that get you get with the bread, bread boy. and they get you with the ice. Don't let them put no ice in your cup. They cheating yeah. you out your soap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, the soda already cold. It's already cold. Yeah, it's already cold. No, it's Ronnie, already run, cold. It's already Ronnie run right through that brand. cold condensation <laughs> soda maker thing. You don't need them ice cubes the getting basement. in your way and shit. They trying to shit you. Yeah. Stay woke. Stay woke. Yeah, yeah, that, bread, yeah. that bread is a is a trip. That's that's a that's a trick. That's a trick, bro. Don't ever don't ever get caught up in that bread shit. Oh no, I'm gonna have the bread. I just said I ain't gonna. Get wrapped up too much in it. Now, don't Ugh. hold on, Coles. Let me stop you right there. Don't think I'm not gonna have it. I don't already wrap it. That's the honey butter. They got that honey butter. I don't the honey butter. I fold it, wrapped it, pop, 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 and put that shit in my purse already. That bread coming home with me. <laughs> have y'all ever been to go to Corral Easter, nigga? That shit is the fashion capital of the hood, nigga. <laughs> and they bring out the best couple of bowls. You have, you have never seen, you have never seen there was so much lavender Ralph Lauren polo shirts, mm. uh, purple, mm. blue shorts, and mm. Air Force ones from Thanks. here to Mississippi. All white Air Force no, ones. I don't I see that bitch. 
I love it. I love to see I, a, I love to see a stable of Ralph Lauren shirts on Negroes. But nigga, when what's up with Easter though? I, I thought Easter I, I was, when I was born, my birthday was right after Easter. I was born the day after Easter. Now Easter in March. This shit. It's right. supposed what's to be happen? like after the first full moon or something like that. Because next they keep, year they keep I throwing think it's a like April twentieth or something like that. So Easter be Easter be moving all around, bro. They keep throwing a cookout for Jesus. You know that favorite cousin of yours that had died. So y'all keep throwing cookouts for him even after he died. That's the shit that they be doing for Jesus. So he's here, I, y'all, y'all come over here, man. We're gonna throw something on the grill. You know, Jesus, you know, that was my favorite cousin. Let's let's put something on the grill. It's like it's like your fish fry. It's a fish fry. Right. We did fish and bread. Fish yeah, bread and water. Uh, you know, uh Linda husband Bobby had brought some fillets down for us. They had went deep sea fish. So we gonna um we gonna bash them up and put something out there on the grill for them. <laughs> He went fishing with Boosie. You see Boosie? That nigga Boosie be catching a thousand catfish at a time. <laughs> Man, I don't know. There, he must have put a body out there in the water. All the catfish. He I like them catfish dead, dead bro. Yeah. I like them catfish dead. Don't eat that shit. That, that water contaminated. Let me tell you something, boy. Dead and that nigga mansion stank like a motherfucker. <laughs> nigga got a 140 pound fish in a mansion. Are you fucking out of your mind, nigga? That shit stank like a bitch. It smell like the Georgia Aquarium in your house now. <laughs> it smell like Aquaman booty hole in here, boy. Get the fuck. <laughs> hey, hey, G- hey, Gigi, why you got so many curtains? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> she had Napoleon down in my house. <laughs> I'm in Broadway. <laughs> she in the prayer closet. Oh, that's, hey, that's what niggas say they graduation pictures at. You know how they graduate? They move that curtain. Oh, they got a baby. Hey, she got four sets of curtains in eight square inches. Right. Oh, hey. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Like I say hey to my baby. Wait. Hey. Hey. Okay, now get on out of here. Okay. No, I need you to get it. Okay, y'all. I, I'll be right back in two seconds. Okay. I do that. <laughs> you gotta go make some lima beans real quick. She be wanting grown food. Leave my baby alone. <laughs> she nah, she gonna come with gravy on it. Set of curtains. <laughs> she said, "We missing one set of curtains." Okay, <laughs> 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 hey, man. Like, what you saying, boy? What's up about hey, me, boy? What you say about my? Mama? Hey, she sat down like, nah. Let me tell you, motherfuckers, what's really going on in this house. <laughs> Like, what, y'all, what y'all I'm not gonna do is <laughs> it's the baby we're gonna not. come back with just me for no reason. We're she not gonna punish me for no reason. <laughs> she got ready to air out all your business. You snatched her up real quick. She's about to go crazy. What? She's gonna come in here and be like, you know, you know, my dad went to jail one time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom has on a wig. That is yeah. Somebody said this is hundred percent your baby. She got comfortable real quick. She's gonna tell all the goods. She she was, like, hey, my mama. How are y'all doing? My mommy doesn't have all her side teeth. She gonna come here and say all kinds of ridiculous shit. Why you telling my, my mama? Be, my mama be cussing right. in her phone. My mama cussing her phone every day. Right. Right. <laughs> my mommy screamed at my daddy one time and it was loud. It woke me up out of my sleep. <laughs> Why are you telling the people that? Why are you right. telling them that? Nobody, nobody even asked you about that. Like you be volunteering. That's the problem. You be volunteering information. Ain't nobody asking that's, you nothing. That's, 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 and you ever had your kids bust you out? My daddy spoke me. Like, yeah, I know. She know. <laughs> my, my kids are just going to. <sighs> They do the most, and I get they get that from their mother. They get that from their mother. I mean, bless their hearts, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, that bless their hearts. Yeah. Bless their hearts. Right. right. Hey, to him, my son saw me eating some Chick Fil A. I was sitting on the floor in front of the TV watching basketball. I had the Chick Fil A mac and cheese and the, the sandwich. My son walked up and said, "Damn, man, why you been doing butt bang?" <laughs> that ain't shit. Hey, <laughs> kids do you bad, man. A buck bag, and he'll say you're gonna go. Kids do you bad. <laughs> he said you about to. 
Well, you finna get it in. You <laughs> can't be by choice. You this gotta be for content. Ain't no way you. You about to get them. You about to. You about to stuff these motherfuckers. Like you you got to get rid of them. You about to. The fact he. The fact he knows that word is crazy. right. Bump by him, buddy. <laughs> Hey, that's funny, boy. Damn. Hey, where, where y'all at? I think Ronnie. I think Ronnie lost sound. I'm. We in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, for, 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 got one more show tonight. Okay, oh, there you go. Right. Mm-hmm. To hill, where you at, honey? See, I'm at the crib. I'm still out here in LA. The way mm-hmm. I said your name was awful. To hill, where you at, honey? It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it was on brand. It was on brand for that wig, though. It, it was, it was, was right. <laughs> this wig is still magnolias. Oh yeah, this yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if y'all old enough to remember designing women. Who are y'all enough? I live my life by what Julia Sugarbaker would do. Because if you got a problem, let me tell you something, honey. Because if you don't want Anthony Bouvier, he's a reputable, a respectable black man. And, I do and if you don't want to do business with Anthony, then you won't do business with Sugar Baker Designing. <laughs> what up, Sugar Baker Designing? And then she shut her shoulders. Her shoulder pads oh. be like that. <laughs> hey, Gigi, you a motherfucking national treasure, bro. Gigi, designer women was good as hell. Anthony Bouvier, you don't have to put up with that. Not as long as I've got working me and George. And the shoulders be like that. Be like, damn, bro. Damn shirt. <laughs> 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 oh god! Oh shit! Oh boy, nigga, oh. I enjoy, nigga. That's funny. Jack Shay, Jack. Oh, Jack he was Hollywood in the movie Mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that mother had the best unfaded box I've ever seen in my life. Boy, the best unfaded. Like it's they didn't change the cards. Uh, Jordy LaForge Jordy LaForge for Star Trek: Next Generation. I don't know what he had for those years. Man. Hold up, now, Jordy yeah. did have a mean Oscar proud nigga. I hated uh I'm gonna tell you what shows I hated. I hated in the heat of the night. In the heat yeah. that, of the night. That show just felt so racist. I hated that. Bubbles. What's his it name? Was uh, not Bubba, the black Virgil guy. Was always green. Virgil and Tibbs. And Tibbs. Virgil Tibbs. He got kept him real greasy. He was always sweating. <laughs> always oily. And I don't, he didn't look moisturized. Call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> Mr. Tibbs. Yeah, so, you just got in the scene. Why are you sweating like that? Oh, you, man. You just get the <laughs> Damn. They wanted us. They wanted us to believe that that nigga pulled Rebecca. Nigga, the fuck out of here, boy. You ain't pulled no. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why I believe you he only... pulled Rebecca. Virgil act like he might have had, cause you know we as a community are generally different people outside of our jobs. Uh-huh. Like our job, I feel like Virgil had that had that swag on him, cause he had that mean shape, like that that little black man Afro mullet. He was right on brand for the time. So I feel like Virgil might have had a little, like I feel like Virgil plays spades and he slapped the card on the table and be like, "Eat that shit, bitch." You know what I mean? I, I would only like believe that yeah. if Virgil drove a Chevy Beretta, but he's more the type of nigga to have a LeBaron. See, I feel Beretta. like he had an El Camino. Ah, hell no, nah. he ain't cool. I feel like he had an El Camino, and he only driving on Sundays, and he washing on Saturdays up there at the car wash with all the other men folks, nah. and they and they creased jeans, jeans be <laughs> creased as hell, boy. You cut a slice of cheese on the whole thing for sure. Virgil had a grand a Mercury Grand Marquis station wagon. He had a grand marquee. He had a Mercury Grand Marquis station wagon with the wood on that bitch. Oh, he was sweating like, because like the... Virgil was a swag dad. What did you say? He, he was sweat. He was sweating because he's the only nigga in Mississippi with a suit on. How the yeah. fuck else? Mm-hmm. You think, <laughs> what else you think gonna happen to you, nigga? It's nine thousand right. degrees. And he got on a polyester suit from Men's Three Warehouse. Feet. Three pieces. He got a, uh, and a blazer and a button up, and he got on a brooch <laughs> and a tie oh, string, a neckerchief. It was a war. It was a war suit. Right. He had the weight of the community on his shoulders because he was like, oh. <laughs> his 
And for years, I did not know the chief was Archie Bunker then because the chief was so mild mannered and y'all boys better calm it down in here. Right. Now, Virgil, I need you to go on over to that <laughs> yeah. Gotta go that boy again, Virgil. Somebody go rob him. <laughs> Tell him round up the call. We gonna head on up there. We gonna make an arrest. Yeah. The chief, the chief talked like he had, he was hey. he was still. A, a I, I feel like he he did illegal gambling. I, I believe like the chief had. Sure I, I, I bet the chief had so many secret babies in that town, nigga. That was for black women. Man, so it many tragedy. So many mixed niggas. <laughs> it's some mixed niggas in that. The chief baby. Chief had some babies in that town. Everyone. He was too close. It was, it was so many mulattoes everywhere. I mean, she <laughs> just out there spitting on my boy. He just out there making shoney ice cream swirls. As far as I just want to, I just want to welcome everybody that's watching to zoom in with the oldies. We are sounding right. old as shit right now. <laughs> hey, look. I mean, Tyler, the next thing I was going to talk about was murder she wrote. I was like, how ain't nobody kill that old bitch? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> right. Look, this, this bitch don't even work for the police and she out solving murders and shit. And you right. know she didn't even go tell. Never underestimate the power. Never underestimate the power. had enough time bitch. to go type that shit on a typewriter. For real. <laughs> loud as hell, too. It was a loud. <laughs> <time. laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> it be like the time back in the alley. And she in the alley looking at a nigga in the house talking on the phone. <laughs> 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 oh, people are lame, man. Was it Angela Lansbury? Angela Lansbury, <laughs> yeah. Jessica Lane. That was her name and on the show. That's what her name was in the show. Mm -hmm. Jessica Lane. Let me tell you something. Them young boys now would have put Jessica Lane up against the ropes, my boy. They'd have put them pooch ass masks on. <laughs> They'd have robbed the shit out of that. Give me this tight rider. What this city is? What cock this city? Right. Yeah. That's our team, boy. Hey, what, hey, what Rob and Jessica Pretty? Where your screen at, man? What the fuck going on? This I know your mother, man. Fuck you. Don't you? <laughs> They'd have beat the shit out of Jessica Lane, I know. <laughs> Jessica had a whole 30 pound tight rider in a, in a car, nigga. Better beat Jessica with that typewriter. I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> shit, nigga. Some oh, young niggas don't even know what a, hey, some young niggas don't even know what a typewriter is. We do now. <laughs> like, what's that? What are they talking about? I, I done seen videos of people showing kids like a house phone and like a rotary phone. Like they pick it up. Like, they don't know what it is. It's, it's like it's making a noise. It's it's a, it's a noise. <laughs> they never heard. Of, think about the. That's a whole generation of people of adults now. They had never heard a dial tone because they never had the house. So they, they don't know that sound mm -hmm. when you pick up the phone. They never heard that shit before. That's that's fucking fact. Crazy. That's fact. Get it. fact. And, and Mr. Telephone Man by New Edition sound dusty them. Like, why you calling the nigga about a bitch right. blocking you? Right. That bitch right. blocked you, fam. That's true. They ain't, never, clo they ain't never closed the flip phone. They ain't never had that map. They ain't never. Boy! What's that? Uh -uh. Man, they ain't never had nobody. They ain't never had nobody text them boobs. Oh no, page them and put boobs on it. Boobs on it. <laughs> eight zero zero eight. Oh, hey, you be. Hey, look, you got. Hey, you got your. You got your feet on in the high school in the hallway. Talking about shit. <laughs> man, man, he blowing me up. He blowing me up, knowing I'm at school. <laughs> but he <laughs> hard crazy. But you see this shit. What? Well, ah, let me. Let me one less hope. Her, um, she seen a payphone and asked me what kind of cell phone that was. Like an actual pay phone. It still had the, the yellow pages connected to it. The phone don't work. Right. But she was like, yeah, what kind of cell phone is that? What kind of phone is that? <laughs> they, um, the it's the one you catch hepatitis on. You can catch hepatitis on that one. <laughs> it's a Man, it's ice store up here that sells like vintage pizzas and shit like that. Pieces, excuse me. And they had two of them. They had like the big one with the, the, the Southwestern Bell joint and they had a, a, another small one that was just like the, the the rectangular one without the the housing unit on right. it and then i was talking to the lady she was like if you you can still get it connected like if you put it in your house you can actually still run a line to the payphone and just have that as like your house phone that's kind of hard and it's kind of hard, hard bro you know but she wanted she wanted 350 for that motherfucker. Like, american what? dollars <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I can't even text on this bitch. You want three fifty? Bitch, they got this on T move. I get this on T right now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they got it on T move. You get it on Facebook Marketplace. 
I used yeah. to walk to my cousin. I used to walk to my cousin's house. Um, my mama, like whenever I used to get mad at my mama, like my family all lived in a town that was walking distance, really. So I used to walk to my mm-hmm. cousin's house whenever I used to get mad at my mama, and I call my grandma on the payphone, and I call her collect, and then I tell her where I'm at when they tell you to say your name. You have a collect call from. Yeah. Mama, please come pick me up. I'm over my cousin's cousin house. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, call. Grandma, I'm Free hungry. Call. I'm over my cousin's cousin house. Don't pick me up. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> once I say I'm hungry, my grandma finna get in that damn Chevy Lumina, and she finna too wheels to get to me, baby. Chevy Lumina, <laughs> goddamn. Lumina, nigga. Nigga was Lumina already broke down. Them Lumina stayed in the shop, boy. Man, she had a Hemi and hose trying to get to me. The Lumina and the Beretta, the Chevy Beretta. Boy, I like the Beretta. <laughs> I, I I wanted that to be one of my first cars, um, but it was it was a fucking uh, Mazda protege. Yeah, is what it was. He had a protege. Damn, you was balling for that. Not a bad no, first. No, not a bad my first. first. I got my first car when I was in it was two thousand. So yeah, I, so I was I think in tenth or eleventh grade. It was a two thousand protege. I put no money down. And I was paying four hundred dollars a month, and I was paying three hundred to eight dollars for my insurance. For yeah, seven hundred dollars a month for a Chevy. Look, uh, I mean, uh, for a uh, Monster Protege. But I was, I was killing at White Castle, nigga. So I was like, it's nothing to a boss, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> not, not not a boss. A month. So a cool, boss. though. We got a, we got a range of payment. <laughs> right, for a month. Approach, Listen, approach made it. Uh, it made it. Uh, uh, anxiety. It's a foreign. Right, because it's a foreign. Yeah, if you were high school, you you were high school. That's a Maybach, nigga. You came to school in the Maybach for real. But listen, Here. Look, I had so I had four tens in the back. I had a VCR and a DVD player, and then I had oh the TVs God. and the headrests on the back. So I was nigga. I was that nigga. I had all of that shit with no alarm. Them niggas mm-hmm. broke into my car senior year. Yeah. Stole everything. Niggas left me a thank you card in the, in the front seat. Mm-hmm. That'll do it, too. That will that do it to fight. you. That nigga, cold, that nigga, that nigga cold sprite in the front seat. Yeah, man. Damn. Here you go, my boy. We about to do you bad. Take this boy, out. Boy, you consolation prize. Damn, baby. Yeah, baby. They let that nigga a hot dog from 7-Eleven. A fully dressed hot dog was in the front seat when he got Not a designer glizzy. No, no uh VCR, no TV screens in the hair is just a hot dog on the arm. <laughs> that's that's they crazy. my dumb ass real good, baby. Mm-hmm. I was uh they trying to bring back the um remember in the 90s when they were making everything see-through? The pagers, yeah. phones, yeah. phones and all shit, of that yeah. Stuff. Yeah, a couple a couple companies trying to bring that back and shit, nigga. That that see through shit had us in a chokehold. The Game Real Boy, Game Boy Light, Real bad. Real bad. I had, phone. I had the baby blue see through pager with the slide out case with the little chain on it, the little gold look. Of the course, little bitty, the little the little belt clip on the outside of your pants with the polo with a polo shirt tucked in with the heel finger pants on. Dockers, right. Easy. <laughs> niggas really, niggas was really wearing their phone on their hip and tucking the shirt behind. <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny. Right. I had to stop this my husband from doing that shit last year. Last year. Oh, right. Facts. Yeah, you don't got that. You don't got that. You don't got that. Why do you have you an otter box? Okay, uh, all that nautica <laughs> from uh, Marshall's out of lay away, nigga. You finna see this bit vapor, nigga. <laughs> I got all this nautica on, bitch. You finna see this? Hey, to toe. Head to toe. Nigga, we was, we was different back then. Wearing Eastlands and a good nautica windbreaker. So start stuff. Everybody, everybody was just like talking. Right. You ain't know on the Eastlands? Oh, you from the West Coast. Eastlands was more of a South and Midwest thing. We was right. different. I used to I rock them Eastlands so hard. I had every cold. Every cold. Every cold, boy. Listen, Gigi, and, and listen, <laughs> fucking every Fair pair of socks up. Oh. Fucking every pair of socks you got up. That Eason, that leather turned your socks so goddamn orange. Socks, <laughs> That's all right. My, but them Eastland, them Eastland shoes is going to go so hard with my dick. They're going to go hard, right but they're going to fuck them. My socks got fucked up so much, I couldn't even wash them with the rest of my whites no more. I had to have mm. a separate paw for my Eastland socks because that shit's going to be my socks. <laughs> 
<laughs> you hear what she said? She said she had them duck head shorts on to go to the East, boy. <laughs> you, heard, you heard what I said? Well, you, was a, you, was a little, you was a little dyke back in the day, huh? Oh, well, my duck head shorts. Oh, I'm gonna give you my duck head shorts. Hell yeah. I'm gonna give you my duck head shorts. I'm also gonna give you a mean jersey dress. What? A mean oh, jersey dress. Oh, my classics. Did you have a high heel shorts on? Okay, listen. High heel shorts. Did you have okay. a pair of them? Listen. That was a dirt. That was a nasty work era. Why you had to bring that up in front of everybody? Like, it's, it's, it's a moment in life. Gigi, I mean, huh? the, uh, the Jordan Hills. Okay, it's a moment in life that we all. And had them Steve Madden Timberlands. This man, let me tell you something. The way I used to put on my fake Manolo Blahnik Tim Boot heels, <laughs> and I'm out here, and I'm out here telling you that um, I'm Beyonce. Look for me, young B cruising down the west side. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? I'm I, bought, I bought my girlfriend some of them. I my girl some of them fake Everybody bought that girl some of them for you. If you had a girl, she had yeah, to get them. Once I put them shits on, baby boy, you stay on my mind. You can't tell me I'm not in the world. Okay? I got you. You can't tell me I'm not in the world. Hey, the nastiest work where the niggas is wearing the Steve Bass. I ain't never get none of them, boy. Them what? Shit, Oh, the black hair, white stripes coming down. Oh. oh, all of them, all of them with the with the rigid bottom nigga with the. Oh, I were talking about the, the Steve Madden bowling shoes. Shit can get up. Oh, like shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's right with a nice type of boy cap. That was a nasty work era, yeah. nigga. Ooh. Right. Tell you what though, I fell victim to some horrible fashion decisions. I was rocking that pant leg up, one pant leg up with the with the black. Electrical tape because I didn't know what Nelly was using, so I was just using black electrical <laughs> tape. I'm so You're a victim of St. Louis. I'm mad at you. I'm so mad. But you know what? I, I also put the band aid, I had a Garfield band aid, I put up under my eye because what is the Midwest? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that never no, wait. To hear just no, admitted no, to being a St. Louis thing, to hear just fully admitted to being a St. Louis thing. Hey, he had to be. I was I call, to I'll call Murphy Lee right now, nigga. Them niggas know, bro. When I was, I was with I you. had, I, I'm rock. I remember I went to the No Limit when they first started touring. <laughs> I went to the No Limit concert. I had on some Averex boots. I had on some shiny ass metallic ass. <laughs> yeah, he got on I had the Rams jersey on. This is when the Rams went to like, they went like the gold. It was like the navy. That dark navy blue, and it was like the actual gold. And I got, I got, I got one story up, so that here, and they got the rest of the jersey on. <laughs> do rag on, not tied with the goddamn uh headband around that bitch. Black electrical tape on my face, nigga. I was out there, boy. You was hey, I, all I see you head. doing, and hey, you was doing the chicken here hard as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> 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 <Like <laughs> Not the three sixty. That nigga look like a cane chicken to the frying right now, nigga. That's how you look at the dude. Oh god. Hey, boy, that nigga said Avery Red Boots. Oh. I can't do none of that, Tim. I can't do none of that. I can't do none of that shit you just did. I got time in life. Zooming <laughs> <laughs> with the uncle and auntie. <laughs> I didn't we all. I, I didn't stretch first. I got Zooming with the uncle, nigga. We all, we all, baby. He can't do no impromptu dance. Boy, that about. nigga. He about to fuck his whole week up, nigga. He got to go do some shit this week. <laughs> nigga, I did, the, I did the chicken head on Sunday Sunday afternoon, nigga. I'm still, I need a nap. You're going to have to put your CPAP on rabbit mode tonight. <laughs> hey, so his CPAP. So his CPAP got a rose on it, too. So his CPAP got a rose attached to it. That is crazy. Y'all leave that man alone. He has a sleeping disorder. Y'all got the freak on the boy CPAP, nigga. <laughs> 
Oh my god, bro. Hey, Ronnie, Ronnie, act like I ain't put him on CPAPs. Now, I will admit this nigga has surpassed me. I ain't never seen his got an air fryer attached to it. Oh, that yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that nigga put the mask on and he cooked the, and the tater tots through his sleeve. He wake up already got fresh. <laughs> My CPAP is, I ain't got no CPAP. But if I had one, it'd be barbecue, nigga. It, I got a uh, mesquite. <laughs> like, nigga, you live a couple of CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> I was the thin trees. I was the thin trees on uh, today, y'all. I don't know if y'all still enjoy the Cedar Trees. Uh huh. What you no, get? No, they still out. Yeah, I was in Cedar Trees. Yeah, yeah. I, went, I went in there and bought me an eighteen pack of wrap snacks. <laughs> that shit, oh, you got your foot gonna swell up right there. This should be having so much. This should be salty as a bitch. They got so much in that. I went in there and bought me an eighteen pack. Oh, 18 pack of you, rap snacks, cause I ate two big old shit. You got dizzy. I ate two of the big old motherfuckers. I was like, boy, I'm losing the fight, motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> them little babies got a chokehold on me so bad. Them little baby rap snacks. Them all, the name of the bag got so many words in it. It's it's a paragraph. It's like <laughs> salt and vinegar, lemon pepper, sour cream, and onion, chive, cheddar. No, GG. <laughs> actually, actually, it's not a fan of the 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 fan yeah. They were too delicious. They're they terrible. They're bad, man. They got a lot of. They got double the soda, but regular chips you got, dog. That shit you bought, you bought some tongue. chips. You bought some chips from a male rainbow. City trends ain't nothing. <laughs> <but> rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can let you know right there. Let me tell you something here. Listen, DJ stay in a place where they still got Radio Shack. She don't even stay in the town. She stay in the circuit city. Hey. She in 1962, you know. South Carolina. That's where the fuck she's saying. <laughs> run, run, run by Blockbuster right quick and get me a uh, shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. I want to see that. I want to see that hard. Hey, I'm going to charge you some rewind fees, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 she's still watching new episodes of King of the Hill, nigga. Hey, hey, Duval got the footage. Not in front of me. Hey, City Trends is the big lot. City Trends is the big lot of clothing stores, nigga. That is the big lot of the mall. I'm not going to let you talk bad about City Trends. I go in there. You can find all types of things, you know. It's like a barn. Talking bag. bad about your city. No, you. I said you ain't gonna talk bad about hey. city trends. City hey, trends. Hey. No, we weren't talking hey. bad about city trends. We were talking about your city. You we're talking about your city, about, not city trends. You don't know nothing about my city, Tyler. Your province. Your your I, district. I went to college in your. I went to college in your city, Gigi. No, you I know didn't. plenty my city about your city. Ain't got no college. What, oh, what I thought you were Wait, 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 wait. No, sir, I'm not from Spartanburg. Why you didn't allow me like that? Did she say, no, you didn't, we ain't got no colleges? <laughs> we ain't got no colleges yeah. in my city. And that's how I know you telling a lie on me, because I ain't even from no city. I'm from a town. Hey. Don't lie on me. Hey, to hear. To Where hear. are you from? I'm from a town. Oh, hey. no. Woodruff. South oh, Carolina. Yeah, Woodruff. First off, a pop band. Cause we already a town of learned doctors. All oh, right, by Spartanburg. Hey, to his, hey, that nigga, that nigga, uh, little Duval got a joke. He said, "Man, I hate going to these little towns. They don't be having shit to do." He said, "I went to the movie. They had regular shit on. They they, they were playing TV at the movie. He said, and now playing Moesha." Hey, the town I got, we used to have a doctor's office. <laughs> So we used to have a hospital in the town that I come from. First of all, y'all will, I will never accept Woodruff slander. It is a wonderful town to raise children and have a family. It has a great upbringing, a wonderful school system. Nonetheless, we used to have a hospital. But this is the thing. You couldn't have no babies at this hospital. So if you was pregnant and you felt like your ass was getting ready to bring life forth in your birth portal, you better hightail it to the damn next town 20 minutes yeah. over. Because you can't have that damn baby at that hospital down in Woodruff. Y'all hospital, y'all know how 
Hey, the hospital said, hell no, take it up to the next town over. We're not putting up. <laughs> that we're hospital ain't got no hot water tank. There ain't no hot water heater at that hospital. They, hey, they, they hey, said, hey, no. Take it elsewhere. Take it elsewhere. Gigi, you know, you know Tori? Huh? Me and Tori grew up Tori together. Dindy. Tori yeah, Dindy. okay. That's what I figured. Yeah, we grew up together. Yeah, that's he's, what a, I figured. he's a bit older than me. Not a lot. Just a, He's a couple grades ahead of yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody watching, man. Tori is a is a big time uh NFL uh football agent right now, man. Mm -hmm. Doing killing shit from out from out of Woodruff. You feel me? Right. Tori is a wonderful person. And wonderful you know Jabari is Hunter too. Then Hammer, you know Hammer. I actually, I, um, we call him Jarvis. Jarvis. I said I said his name wrong. I'm sorry. His yeah, that's my frat brother. Oh, Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. Hall. yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Woodruff. Okay, hey, I gotta talk to you about this when I met you, with my man. You should be a midwife, Gigi. You I should be a midwife, me. baby. I, listen, I didn't, I didn't hey, want to be there to deliver my own baby, let alone somebody else. <laughs> I want to leave the belly in the coochie there and come back and pick the baby up. I want to leave the belly in the coochie and say, "What time y'all want me to come back to finish this off?" Gigi, do you know Charles is a big meet you for daddy? You know, Charles, Charles, you talking about Charles who was up there sleeping with Lucille, best friend, and do, and do, I know Charles, let me tell you something about Charles, Charles think he gonna say, say his way back into my life, Lucille might have let you back in her bed, but you ain't gonna come back into my life that easily, knowing you don't yeah. slept with that gal friend. She did, though, but she did. That that wig looked like the inspiration for at least ten of Anthony Hamilton's song. I'm not gonna hold hey. it. <laughs> Standing now, Charlene, looking now. Charlene. <laughs> Charlene for sure. This Charlene, hey, this that Charlene. <laughs> this, this wig. When I put this wig on, it immediately made me want to do this. Your good love, Jesus, and on your that's the Layla Rashawn waiting to exhale. Don't throw that up here, wig. Hey, don't you throw, that, don't up you throw that up here, you raggedy bitch. <laughs> that raggedy, raggedy bitch. bitch. Don't you throw that up here. <laughs> hey, this wig right here might me think your about wig say my body. Your wig say my body. The wig say my body needs this. <laughs> Hey, this hey, the when, Peggy, when Peggy came back that second season and had got that nice little haircut, Al hey, wasn't ready for that shit. That's when we found out Peggy was We were like, hold on, that nigga got an ass. Peggy, Peggy Wanker. And these glasses right here say, I see you shining, nigga. You're looking like you. <laughs> <laughs> I see you shining. You feel like you got, you feel like you got the most rare beanie babies in the world in that closet right there. Nigga. You got all the beanie babies. <laughs> ain't nothing back there but more. Ain't nothing behind that closet but more office wigs and hung up city trends outfits. It ain't and curtains. Thirty-seven dollars worth of materials in there to begin with. <laughs> no, ain't want, nothing in there of value but my person. Got a closet full of curtains. Man, I got <laughs> <laughs> another curtain. <laughs> <laughs> if I Liz, if I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna Afro engineer some shit. Every time I'm gonna Afro, Afro engineer, some, engineer shit. some shit. Yeah, nigga, read. I'm gonna Afro engineer it every damn time. Afro like, engineer I'm gonna watch a YouTube dude. video and then call and ask my uncle because I got an uncle right now. That mug can fix anything. All he gotta do is watch one YouTube video, and that nigga is a master. He's master board certified after two videos and one new port one hundred. <laughs> and then hey, you love, love the niggas until you, until you realize that they literally just put a band aid on some shit to fix it, and it's gonna cost you double to it fix it. Nah, I, listen, I got nah. This uncle right here, he an old school southern dude. You know, back in the day, old school southern dudes had real fucking skills. Like nah, you right. Yeah, they had real yeah. skills. I got an uncle right now that if it's an animal on side of the road, oh boy, I can tell you how long he been there and what he died from. Just, just from touching and temperature, because he knows he's a hunter. He's a man of those the are, earth. Those are real world skills. Those are real world <laughs> Ready skills. Ready for the apocalypse. I'm, I'm, I do miss that about being back. These in the are real career. world skills. Uh, my uncles, my granddad, them niggas, all they did was work on cars. They love Chevys. They love Fords. 
Didn't really fuck with a whole lot of Buicks outside of the Regal, but they fuck with a couple of them. Them motherfuckers can start the car up and they can tell you if your timing belt is slipping. Right. Uh, if, you need, if your time need to be brought up or something, if your alternator about to go out or you, you finna have a problem with that, battery, they gonna tell about it. How, how, how long it take to crank up? The niggas gonna tell you what's wrong with your car. I got a cousin that can hit a boom, 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 and be like, yeah, you got something. You got you got fluid leaking down in your arm. Uh, <laughs> it's running back down there by the alternator running through there and then the wires getting a lot of liquid and you got to <laughs> And he missing one finger right here. That's how you know he a fisher. I don't, I don't want nobody working on my car that's got all their fingers. They ain't had no tried and true career. They ain't had no real losses <laughs> to me. So, no real losses they had no real losses to me. I was talking to my homeboy about, uh, you know, on the you see on the business, they'd be like established EST and they have the date and shit like that. <clears throat> but some companies like especially restaurants they'll they'll put the established date on when they were born not when the company started and i'm like nah bitch i won't i want when the company started because i ain't going to no brand new soul food restaurants i, I need oh. some soul food that's been there for at least 15 20 Damn, years that that food tried and tested it's just new shit. Yeah. It ain't no grandmas i felt like I, I, these I new grandmas them. don't know how to I cook like that. but the tea nah. don't tell it for me the, right. I, need, I need to taste your tea and i need to taste your macaroni um, well, number one, Everything. I'm going to ask you, do you have macaroni? And if you tell me when I ask you, do you have macaroni? And I, I say to you, macaroni, and you repeat back to me, yeah, we have macaroni casserole. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't the, if they say macaroni instead of mac and cheese, you already know what you're dealing with. You already know what you're dealing with. And you don't have to put every, you don't have to put everything you think of inside of an egg roll. Like these niggas at these new restaurants be having collard green and, and, and gristle egg roll. Like nigga, why you got you got gristle in this motherfucker? Like I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> a good little piece of gristle. <laughs> hold on now. Let me stop you right there. Hold on, hold on, Randy. Let me stop you right now. Let me stop you right there, cause you know we don't build a good relationship together. You know, <laughs> we, we cool, we, we cool. Um, when I eat chicken, I don't eat it like I want to. And put it because it's borderline embarrassing. So I'm gonna eat the chicken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust it down with the meat and the skin first. I'm going to ask for my wings fried hard because I want to <laughs> be able to eat the gristle and then bust it open and get the marrow out the middle. And it's going to be all Yeah, you I'm going to bust it off. I'm going to get the marrow out the middle. And then I'm going like to use dog. that like, same. How... What? I'm going to use that same split bone as a toothpick. So. <laughs> split bone. Gigi, you can't be this goddamn country. Oh, I'm yeah, have me something sweet after this. <laughs> Who came? I'm gonna have me something sweet okay. after this. That was good, y'all. I like what you did. You did. Said. <laughs> what was that? Cumin? Oh, that shit, that was good. That, that guy's good, ain't it? Man, like, I, <laughs> say, I can't eat the gristle like I want to in public. I can just see Gigi leave it out with five pieces of <laughs> gristles. Gristle and You gonna suck the bouillon cube out the goddamn I, bowl, nigga. You gonna suck the, the broth out that bitch. I'm about to eat that little, that little, that little kneecap knuckle that be on the end of them chicken wings. Oh, I'm about to nah, 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 that thing down. <laughs> Run it. That is hilarious. Me, out. I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, oh, nah. Nah. Don't, forget to, uh, don't forget to run up uh, Ronnie Ronnie Jordan's uh, cash app, man. It's his birthday. So go ahead, run him up so he can get some more backwoods. And uh, if y'all want to tip Tyler, you can. He got his whole titty in the goddamn camera. That, do, that, that, that titty, titty. Us a, that boy gave us a pet promise. <laughs> that, 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 that motherfucker said no right, my boy. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm gone, man. Damn, sir. That nigga had that motherfucker sitting on <laughs> right. Right. That mom was like, you used to um, be my dog. You was in my left titty. Scream right or die. I thought no. you would die with me. Like, nigga, I literally. <laughs> hey, hey, to here. <laughs> to here. <laughs> look, look outside. Look outside. Them same fans that came to get Diddy, they out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Don't, don't you say same niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call out there, man. 
they would have been in here. My crib ain't as big as his. Like, they would have been in here. They caught the drug mule at the airport. They caught the drug mule at the airport with butt plugs and CPAP machines, man. Right. Listen. Yeah, vibrators. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ronnie, yeah. when they caught him with butt plugs and a CPAP machine? Yeah, he had a, his drug mule was found at LAX with a bag full of ass plugs and roses. More on this story at 11. Self-conscious. Three nose rings. Self-conscious now. Three nose. No, we didn't say you had titties. We said you put us up under your titty. Like, you took us up under your wings. Right? <laughs> like we, <laughs> you felt like a kid being carried. Right. You sunned us. You sunned <laughs> us. Oh, no. Hey, Tyler, waka, 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 waka. That's what you gave us. How deep up under your arm you had us. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler cover his chest like how I get the pool. That's how I get the public pool like this. That's how he jump rope. That's <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> <laughs> Tyler, over the, get your big uh, my y'all hair, boy. Y'all hair. I ain't gonna let y'all treat Tyler like this. Tyler got a good spirit. He got a good energy. He's he a good, good blood pressure. He the only one without high blood pressure on this motherfucker. He the only one without high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah. Right, because I eat two bags of rap snacks. I know I'm gonna have to give up a yeah. toe. <laughs> Check your sodium level today, boy. Be what? Like, what? I'm gonna be dizzy down there cooking that food. Dizzy as fuck down there cooking. Let's just say if you keep if you eat two bags, you're gonna need one of the toes like Coach Prime got there. We're gonna I have had to eat something because I'm finna go down here and cook, man. I don't want to cook hungry. Then I start doing stupid shit. <clears throat> cooking hungry, boy. Cooking hungry how have you making something you ain't supposed to make for real. Right. That's what I'm saying. I ate two bags of chips, so then I can cook with a level head, clear eyes, and full hearts. You're gonna have to drink some water first to get that salt out your ankle. You ain't gonna be able to stay up on the weak I, ass ankles. I already did. I drank me 36 <laughs> ounces of water to flush out that salt lick I just had. I had two bags of a salt lick, like a deal. <laughs> so if y'all wondering why my face be it, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm finna go out here and make another salt leak meal, probably. Ah, uh, shit. Man. You still be putting them chips on your burger? I mean, on your sandwich? Who, me? Yeah. And is? Okay. I ain't I'm gonna, I mean, look, I, and I, I, look, I'm, we having, we having a sandwich-based meal today. I thought you every time I said, I can't tell you that. And <laughs> I'm, I'm making a sandwich today. Who <laughs> <laughs> are you talking to? Who you been talking to? <laughs> Who you been talking to about me, man? That's the energy right here. Well, I never discussed that with you. Oh, my, my kids don't even know that, nigga. <laughs> Now listen, I don't just put any kind of chips on my burger. Like I don't like plain chips on my burger. Oh, you don't like plain chips? Mm, I don't like plain chips. I take, them if they, I take them if they ruffle. Yeah, uh, ruffles but I don't got ruffles. Just like plain original yeah. lays. They taste on. Uh, Nothing taste about awesome. that wig says you like plain, so that makes sense. I don't like plain. Don't lie on me, Tyler. <laughs> it's not a good look. It's not a good look. No, I'm saying don't nothing about that. Like I this. agree. I'm green. Don't don't lie on me. <laughs> Every chip individually like this, and then just what you're talking so, to people. So. I do eat my food one at a time. I'm not gonna lie about that. I don't mix things unless it's soul food or Chinese food. Mm. One at you a don't time. Eat your <laughs> okay. Fries, you finish your fries right. and eat your burger. So I'm gonna eat my fries and then my burger. Yeah. So the fries don't get cold. Right. I'm eat my fries first because I can always heat up the burger, but I can't heat back up the fries. Hey, y'all ain't never do. You ever been driving? Like niggas made me feel crazy about this shit. This is some fat shit. I ain't gonna hold you, but you been driving. You got burger and the fries, and you know you, you you driving. So instead of like eating the fries one at a time, two at a time, just just grab a handful, and make it a ball, and then take a bite out of a French fry ball. Y'all ain't never you eat, you eat fry balls, <laughs> sir. I don't know what type of. It's, it's, so I don't know what. 
I don't know what type of nigga pierogies you interested in making. But don't oh, you made, in it. Bro, you made a French fry. <laughs> I don't know what type of I don't know what, what you got going on. It ain't it's, it, it's no I'm not it's doing just it. a lot of fries. Just smash, just smash that motherfucker together. Take a bite of it, then you go open the ketchup packet and squirt some ketchup. Nah, and then you can, 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 can I make Now, will I take the fries and do it like this? Ah, yeah, but I ain't nah, gonna, gonna make the ball. I'm making the you ball. You gonna miss something? You gonna different. something gonna fall? I've I'm never let food touch the palm of my hand. I've never let food touch the palm of my hand before I ate it. Never. I've never had something in my hand like because it's the not even a burger. What about a burger? What about a burger? You keep it on the fingertips when you eat a burger. Because the burger's yes. in the palm. The burger's Correct. resting. Niggas why would you, why would you rest the burger? Listen, sir. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, burger I'm, so I'm, I'm savoring it. I'm savoring this like burger, this. bro. You gonna lick it off your palm? <laughs> if my food and burger juice don't run down my arm, it wasn't good. He said I, I have. definitely lift it off your palm. I needed to do the run down my arm. <laughs> So I can know it's good. That's fine, but it can do that if you got the finger. Y'all got, got to have fingertip control, man. That's crazy. You can't <laughs> put something in the like palm this. of your hand and then eat it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so fly, man, listen. So when it's time for me to eat, I don't have no rules. What about some flowers? No maybe the only man. exception. They may be the Skittle? only exception. Maybe okay. Skittle. <laughs> Skittle. What? Uh, I'm poking holes in this theory, GD. Watch this. I got I got 17. Nah, more. but these are popcorn. <laughs> these are all snacks. Name a food. Name a food. These are all snacks. Okay. Name a food snacks, that you supposed to eat with the palm you of your hand. Um and you're not and you're not Nigerian. I was gonna say because sometimes you need to have the 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 bread or the starch in your hand. Because I, I am in the palm. A, I am, but see, my hand, the palms are part of my hand. Like when Blizzy. I eat a biscuit, the biscuit don't always just be on my fingertips. If I have a cat head biscuit, they be. Really? A glizzy? Yeah. A glizzy? Cat head biscuits is You hold me. a hot dog like <laughs> I do. You hold a whole hot dog in your hand. I'm a hold it like this. I'm a hold it. Because I need, I don't want my slaw to fall off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promise y'all, next time y'all y'all ain't paying attention. Next time y'all eat, y'all gonna see it's not touching the palm, the actual palm. It's touching your fingertips. Watch, I bet you. Y'all just don't notice it. Y'all not Burrito. setting food down in your palm. Burrito. Don't Got hold it. it like that, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said foods. You said foods. Oh, here come this man. Listen. Um, listen. What's up, dog? What's up to all my fellas in the room? What up, fellas? What's up? <laughs> My fellas in the room. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey, GG. Hello, Sydney. Hello, GG. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> You're my favorite high school teacher right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to see you today, Sydney. How you doing? Uh, just I'm know you look like a Fort Worth teacher. teacher. I hope you are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then I do this sweater like this. You look good today. You look good. Hey, that's hey. all I'm about, bro. I'm to get money. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in the restaurant right now. Hey, oh, hey, okay. That's a hotel back where Rodney got. Okay, Rodney. Nah, Happy birthday, dog. Appreciate you, bro. What's happening? Hey. I just want Man, to you've been you. phenomenal on these roasts, kid. You're on a burn. You're going to be great in this comedy business, guy. You're doing your thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know how to make content, but I know how to make jokes about people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheating, right? Hey, man, you put, you put yeah. your face on the yeah. Frenchies, niggas. You put your face on the damn Frenchies, boy. I said, what they going through? They supposed to fight. Y'all supposed to hit by this. Y'all got to hit. <laughs> That nigga CP called me and said, CP called me and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm having fun. Just, just make a video back. He was like, oh, I'm heading downstairs, nigga. I was doing something else. But he said, I have to respond now. <laughs> he said, what are you doing? He said, you said, you don't pop the bath. Oh, you don't pop the bath? Oh, my yeah. Hey, before, before, before he got to me, I called this nigga. I was like, when are you doing me? Because I, 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 I feel it coming. You know, it's coming. I, 
Todd, so, I felt that shit coming. I was like, I'm going to grab this nigga first. He told me, he said, I feel like you're coming, so I'm going to attack you first. I said, to here. I don't want to I don't even be able to deal with all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can't make city out here bullying y'all, nigga. City out here like, you can't stand the rap. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar. That nigga Lamar, nigga. You better find out what you had your baby yet? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she decided against it, so we just gave the baby the safe haven. <laughs> <laughs> decided against it. It's crazy. After the baby. <laughs> Wait, when he said decided against it, I immediately said in my head, oh, no. Man, so, hey, the baby live. The baby going to live, but just not with us. So <laughs> we, left we got other shit to do this year. I you know how you had them trash shoots at the apartment complex? They got one in the hospital, but it's for baby. <laughs> Bruh. And you slide the baby in there and it just slide into a doctor's arm. Straight down, huh? <laughs> you going straight to hell. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> you going straight to hell. <laughs> I didn't invent the safe haven. I'm abiding by the rules. <laughs> right. Straight if I get to baby, I, you know, I, mean. I took the baby to that safe haven. You gave it a better life. Yeah. Uh, this is a good city. Hey, some, oh, somebody shit, right to me, bro. So, Ronnie, what you got planned for your birthday, man? Uh, shit, because the goddamn order for the dog day. He about 10 minutes in the club. He's about to drip of weed. He's crying. Okay. Any right. bit. Yeah. Well, you you have your your stupid fruity swag today. Uh -huh. You are your stupid fruity swag today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie, tell y'all we got a show together on 420. Oh, 20 and fuck. You see my hat? You see my hat? Oh, 20 and fuck coming yeah, up. Yo, Ronnie, why you ain't telling them about this? Yeah, I ain't oh, heard nothing about, about it. It's about your game, man. Fuck, you spend all the time talking about old people shit. I mean, because we old people. <laughs> oh, man, we got a smoke lounge next door. The cigar. They got a whole cigar lounge. They going to let us uh, blow it out of now. Pause, no ditty. But, uh, yeah, two shows. I got Kamal. <laughs> I got DJ. I got... Uh, uh, Remo, Kamal, we got a couple people coming through, man. Telling tell 420 stories, cannabis infused comedy, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, um, um, it's gonna be in Atlanta, yeah, uptown comedy corner. Okay, okay, I gotta go. Yeah. I don't know what happened to your sound, we can barely hear you now. It's super low. He didn't run into his Hollywood producer vibes. Can you hear me now? I mean, we hear you, you just sound like you wrapped yourself in your own burrito. <laughs> I'm a burrito. You sound like you was called a testify to Diddy trial. <laughs> you, real, you, you, you real don't know what to say. <laughs> you call it, nigga, they say you you gonna take the gun, but you don't know what's on them. Nah, Blabba yeah, 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 yeah. Now you good. Now you good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you still have to testify to Diddy trial. No, sir. <laughs> Hey, look, the fucked up part is, you know, they be having them, uh, those little trial wrap-ups with, like, a white man telling all the details, but he don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. They got, they was like, and also, did he touch all the bad boys in college? <laughs> <laughs> they be wiggling my ass. Like, that fat nigga had no sound, though, but it's... All right. As soon as they said he raped all the bad boys in college, my ass like this. Oh, like, that ain't happen. That ain't happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That didn't happen, sir. I don't know who... See, see you back in town? Yeah, I'm in LA. I leave. Uh, yeah, I'm in LA. I, I go home for like two days and I come right back. Okay. Well, yeah. Who you doing next, Sid? That's what they want. The streets want to know. The streets oh, I'm gonna I'm get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go Patrick. But here's how I'm gonna set up Patrick. I'm gonna do it like I'm getting women of the week. Like this week, I'm gonna start with women, right? And then I'm gonna have, <laughs> I'm gonna have me. And then Patrick, Patrick gonna pick, pick, you know. Up. And then all I got for Patrick right now is I want to say he looked like every teenage girl in a teenage movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whether it's like bringing on the like 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 leaders <laughs> or mean girls, you like one of the mean girls, but Patrick got a, like a teenage. <laughs> Patrick is Jade Smith if he was with the public school. Patrick, was like you always about to say, I just thought about Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Patrick got a mean ass squirt collection. He got so many squirts. <laughs> That's like he said, it don't hurt if you breathe. Hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 
No Diddy. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, I'm using them all for this shit. I gotta, I gotta remember this. Hey, hey yo. Yeah. Well, guys. <laughs> Try to look off like I'm not with this fuckery. I'm gonna look off. I'm not, I'm not. I was looking at the game. The game was on. <laughs> Who playing? The like the Clippers? Nah, uh, the, uh, it's the women's championship game. Oh, oh I thought y'all back. Hey, happy birthday, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. right, man, I'm going to let y'all get some food. I'm going to go grab some food, too, man. I appreciate y'all pulling up. Y'all it's still blast Ronnie Jordan's uh, cash app. It's his birthday, man. Yeah, Salute sir. to the bro. Um, you've been a hilarious friend since I met you, bro. Um, and the, the, the style is there. The apparel's there. The merch is there, nigga. The writing is there. You're just a dope-ass individual, bro. So I hope that you are celebrated today. By your friends and your loved ones, and this one for the books, bro. Real quick, can I say something real quick about Ronnie? Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Go ahead. Hey, Ronnie, I think you're dope as fuck. Like, real talk, I tell you this all the time before, like, I was watching comedy. For, I did Bad Boys season two. You did Bad Boys season one. I still look at you as a nigga from Bad Boys season one talking his shit. Then you did Comic View. You like one of the first niggas, like, in my class. I was like, this nigga doing it. Like, I still look at you from that, like, fan point. So, like, happy birthday, nigga. And just know, like, you could look behind you and you got a legacy. The niggas like me look up like damn that nigga really been doing it for a long time. So Thank happy you. birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. I love you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Also, I, I Ronnie Ronnie has been an innovator for, for years as well, man, with the merch. And he was the first nigga I saw to uh, put a CPAP in the lunchbox. And I <laughs> think that was good. <laughs> Ronnie's out, man. Ronnie's out. That was Ronnie's just genius, out. bro. Like I never would have thought to do that shit to make it easier and more <laughs> compact. So you know what I'm saying? I just appreciate your innovative spirit, bro. Love it. See, now, now I got to say, Ronnie, listen. Listen, run, listen, run, run, run. Listen, I appreciate, happy birthday, first and foremost. Feliz cumpleaños, I think. So I appreciate the fact that you are always so willing to share information, Facts. advice, guidance, Facts. anything to help somebody maneuver in this comedy game and in this world and you want absolutely nothing back except for hey man shit i want you to get your money <laughs> i want you to get your money like the first time i met you you treated me like i was your cousin that just lived in a different state and you've been knowing me your whole life and it was just a whole vibe you you gave yeah. me access to your family let me pick your brain People ain't silent like that no more. Hey, um, bro. And like, I'm just, I'm grateful for it, man. I hope that your birthday brings all the blessings that you asked for and then some. I appreciate that you always share your knowledge, your space, your heart, your family. Like, man, that type of generosity just, it's not, it's, it's not right, common. Right. And, and I'm grateful. Right, yeah, just man. to be in your space. And I appreciate you. I really do, man. I really do. Happy birthday. Real shit, man. Yeah. Appreciate all Shout out man. Sandy Jackson, too, for the tip. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good one. Happy Sunday to y'all, man. Go love on your family. Go love on your friends. And we'll see you soon. Shit, make sure you turn the notifications on because I know YouTube be tripping. Try to turn it off and then turn it back on, and hopefully you'll catch the next one. But uh, y'all keep blessing. What you doing? April 20th. Both 20th. Fuck. Pull up. I'll sign a comic corner. There oh, you right, go. Come awesome. see me in Dallas at Club Hyenas on there the it is. Sunday. Come see me. I'm in your seat. Be at OKC this weekend uh, with Tia uh, at the uh, what's that Bricktown Bricktown Comedy Club. Yeah, Bricktown. That's a good yeah. club. That's a good club. They got a nice little green room. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be in Bellflower this upcoming Friday with you know Marcus, and then I'll be right back out there that following Wednesday with Shante Waynes. Uh, then I'm in St. Louis on the 20th and the 21st. Uh, 20th is for Kiwan from Lunatic's birthday party. He got a mansion party out there, and we do a comedy show that night. And then the 21st is a, a brunch and jokes uh, with Precious J in the city, and she might still be celebrating her 40th too. So well, that's gonna be that that time. Party, you doing a St. Lunatic? You gotta wear the old fit. Nigga. Oh, nigga, I, nigga, I'm I'm gonna have on a pair of Air Force Ones. And I'm gonna have a pair around my neck, like I'm gonna tie the oh, okay. shoes hanging you off the, the neck. Per... Hey, you know it. Hey, you should get one of the clear pair. You remember the clear Air Force ones that Nike yeah. never approved? Them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers will steam up. Them were me and jellies. Those were oh, me and jellies. Yeah, we, we call them the jelly, boy jelly. 
Yeah, that's what me and Jen was right. Uh, Hell yeah. I'm going to see if I can find some vocal. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>